Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have the FR Sky X Lite which was provided me by Banggood. Thank you Banggood. And uh, that was very nice of him. So we're going to be creating a playlist of the setup and how to use and how to add all kinds of crazy things to this transmitter. So let's get started. So first of all, it comes with this awesome carrying pouch. However, um, and a little foam to keep it protected from the shipping and uh, as you can tell it's it's actually it's very nice I, I really do like it. It seems pretty good quality and it's very good price as well So I can't wait to actually test it out. So the first thing you want to do is uh, Obviously you're gonna have to get it batteries not being shipped with batteries at the current moment of time uh, Just because of some issues with some countries. So they said, okay, we'll just remove the battery make them easy uh, to add on and uh, this way they could be able to ship it to everybody out in the world. So instead of having this banned in your country because of the batteries, uh, this is the sacrifice that they had to do. However, the price I think dropped also because of that. So that's also kind of very nice. Now, let's go ahead and just take a quick overview and then we're gonna go ahead and see how to switch it between mode one and mode two, which is I thought was pretty interesting after I figured it out. So some of the things as you can tell here, we do have some, you know, uh, D-pad kind of style, like, you know, and Super Nintendo style controls here. We have a couple two buttons here, and then we have like a little joystick analog kind of stick going on here. So that's very nice to see. Uh, at the current moment of time, I might have to do battery mod because I'm not going to wait uh, for the batteries to come in. And we'll see that later on. So the gimbals feel very nice. I, I don't know. I think they are Hall Effect gimbals, and uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll check that out later on uh, in the videos. But currently, they feel very nice. And as you can tell here, it's not set to any kind of mode, and they both center. So, um, yeah, that's something to take note of in the beginning. And uh, back here, we have two two position switches, which are very, very tiny, as you can tell right there. They're very nice, too. I mean, I really like it here. So we have two of those, and then we have two, three position, position switches, and here we have some potentiometers. There is no center point, so you really don't know where you're at if you're going to use these, and um, they're just very smooth just the whole way around. They just go here, stop, and then there, and stop. And here we have this little rubber grommet, so you can add an external antenna if you wanted to, so you can totally do that, as you can tell right there. And I think you could choose that inside the software, kind of like the Horus X10. And uh, if we take a look at the backside here, this is where your module baby is, but as you can tell, they've completely changed the way it is. So now there's going to be proprietary modules. However, the, the current modules will actually work if you get the pins laid out correctly. So there could be little adapters and we could also create little adapters and mods to get the TX fire, uh, TBS crossfire to work here. So it's going to be pretty nice. And back here, when I first received it, I was like, oh my God, look, it's missing screws. This is, I don't know what the hell's up with this, but then I figured out why this is pretty crazy. So to change the mode on this guy is um, is actually pretty simple. So they give you this little baggie with these rubber things and as well as one screw. And uh, let's go ahead and take it, take a look at this. Uh, here's a little baggie. We get these, which I think you could rip these off and then you could basically stick them on uh, these here. So you can have, you know, you could switch them with little grommets, but I think they'll probably fall out. Uh, that's what I think they're used for. I mean, that's what really makes sense to me at the current moment of time. But the holes are slightly a bit too big, I think. But anyways, we'll come back to this later on. Uh, if we take a look here, we do also have a heat shrink. I think the heat shrinks for that as well. We have this little screw here. Now you might say, oh my god, what kind of screw is this? Well, it's actually a 2 millimeter hex screw. And if you take a look in there, here, let me show you. And then we put this through right this, and then that's it. That's how it works. Only one side does that. Now, what is this used for? Well, first of all, if you take a look back here, if we were to tighten the hex screws, there's also two Phillips screws. The two Phillips screws are for the body, which you really don't need, but these here play a very big role. So if I were to go ahead and tighten this one, which is going to be for this side right here, I'm, I'm, I'm a mode two, so yeah, let's go see what happens. So if take a look now, as it's very bouncy, and if you tighten this down, it just dampens the reflect back. So over here, I'm tightening it down. Now check this out. It just became tighter. So you can actually set this up. But this only works on the up and down uh, axis. So it doesn't work on the left and right. So I'll explain why that is in a little bit. So first of all, some people might not like it when they, you know, do a backflip and then, you know, it just your quad is going to start oscillating because of that. You can fine tune that uh, spring, but you can't do that for roll and yaw. So yeah, take that into consideration. So right now I've loosened it again and it's kind of back and I could dampen that out as much as possible to make it as a, how I like. So how do we make it a mode one or mode two? Well, there's two missing screws here. 
right there and right there and what you're supposed to do is you add this screw in to make it whatever mode you want so I'm in mode 2 so I need the throttle here to stop centering so I need this side here so if I take a look at this side this side's missing the screw I'm gonna go ahead and grab this screw and stick it in so let's go ahead and do that together and as I'm screwing it in check what happens now don't tighten it too much look at this now oh that's terrible right but that is the whole reason for the second screw on that side that we were using it to dampen and loosen. So right now I just tightened it a little bit and you could tell now I have my throttle. Very nice. It's a little bit too stiff for my liking so I will loosen that a little bit. So you don't have to take your whole thing apart. Yeah, this is much better. So another key feature of the FR Sky or one that's really loved by a lot of people are the notches. You know, the little clicks when you're going up this does not have it so yeah take that into consideration if you really love that uh this doesn't have it it's just a smooth transition up and down and um yeah that's how it is so overall now i just switched it to mode 2 just with one screw and just a couple you know turns of the screwdriver and i was good to go so now i have a mode 2 fr sky x light next step is going to be doing it inside the software which will be after the battery mod now if you're curious on how to access the battery uh what you have to do is you have to twist this counterclockwise pull it and you stick the batteries in there so yeah so and then to put it back you just do the same thing just do it backwards basically there we go and this one also let's see uh, counterclockwise both of them I believe are counterclockwise yeah both of them are counterclockwise which means the opposite way of how the clock turns so counter which is backwards so that's how you do that if you take a look at the bottom here we do have an SD card expansion which is very nice because this thing also has a speaker and I believe it can also run everything else because it is OpenTX software full-fledged OpenTX software so that's very nice to see you can put sound packs all kind of crazy cool stuff and we do have a micro USB however you cannot power this through the micro USB I've already tried with a couple different adapters hopefully I didn't burn anything but yeah you can't power it up with, with just this now, there's also an auxiliary here. I don't know if this actually works or not. I haven't really looked into it, um, but you could probably put like headphones or something in here. Not really sure, can't really answer that just yet. And here you see these little three pins right there. This is to flash your receivers. For example, if this is an EU version and then I had a US version of a XM Plus, I would go ahead and connect it in there and then I can totally flash it to you know the, the correct firmware, whether it's uh, the US version or the European version. I think they gave me the US version they sent me here for some reason, which I think is good. I really don't know what version that I have most of my receivers on, but we can still flash it, which is very nice instead of using Arduino or some of that nature. So overall, um, I must say it's it's really nice so far just a quick overview of this little uh, Controller and I think I might make the transition now You know the, the reason why I want to make the transition is because the, the, the Horus X10 is so big so heavy and uh, I can't get full deflection as you can tell here now I'm a summer and this is just uh, gorgeous Just absolutely beautiful. However, you know what I wish I wish I had a momentary switch for uh, for a buzzer But they don't so but you know you have three position three position two position switches here like this will be for arming for me uh, this will be for modes and the other one's gonna be for uh, turbo mode and uh, no, I'm just kidding I don't know some other things possibly uh, or like turtle mode yeah there we go turtle mode that's one we could use or uh, flip after crash whatever they call it now so we could do that also so overall um, it looks pretty nice it feels good in the hand um, I don't know how it's gonna perform. I'm gonna do some figure Maybe I might not even do the battery mod depending on how scary it might seem because I really don't want to ruin it And I really actually want to try to give it a shot to be my daily my new daily driver because For example, let me bring you a Horus X10 and just compare it next to this guy All right, so here is the Horus and let's just zoom out here The Horus is bigger than the, the carrying case for this guy It's it's a massive difference. I mean, it's it's really a massive difference there that's what them standing up next to each other here let me show you that there we go it's around like that it's it's huge and if we take a look at the sides uh this is still even thinner here so yeah i would totally definitely switch over if i can because this has so <laughs> many things it's insane but i really don't use these all i use this thing here and this is kind of loose now I need to tighten it so I just use one of these here and then uh, this one I think is for my modes and everything else I really don't use maybe this is for buzzer and uh, one of these for uh, the flip after death or whatever 
But the gimbals here are just really solid. I really like this has the little notches that I'm talking about. If you could hear it, let me see. Hopefully you could hear that after my noise reduction. Um, but yeah, this thing is a, is, is a beast. So yeah, I'd really like to change to this guy. Plus I don't really fly far. I don't know how good of a range it has, but uh, I'll try to kind of test it because I'm not really fully tested because I'm sick of losing quads and GoPros. And um, yeah, overall it looks very nice. Uh, it's well thought out. I can immediately see that. And um, I'll figure out if I'm gonna do the battery mod. We're gonna be doing a playlist how to set everything up on this guy and um, just see how to flash uh, receivers from here and uh, seeing you know how to install the uh, sound effects and all these kind of crazy cool stuff, how to update the firmware, how to put the Lewis scripts, the ESC telemetry if possible, and all that crazy good stuff that everyone wants. We'll be doing a beautiful little playlist. And if you guys really want the playlist, let me know. If you guys don't want the playlist, if I get enough no's, then I'm just not going to do it. So, yeah, overall, uh, I truly, at the current moment of time, with everything you get here and the way it's laid out and um, everything that I'm seeing here, um, it's really... 120 bucks for this is, is a really good deal in my opinion. It's a lot better than the uh, Evolution plus the XM, you know, the FR Sky radios are also dropping in price uh, Especially the XM plus I love I really love those receivers and um, and um, Yeah, it's just a All-around good thing now that I used to not really put everything as a you know all my receivers as FR Sky just because it was too expensive the receivers were more expensive than the fly sky but now they're really competing and I really do like that. And um, yeah, that's why lately I've been transitioning to FR Sky. It's just, a, to be honest, Fly Sky is a lot better, bigger company, but Fly Sky gives the drone community the, the shit, like basically the low end stuff they have, but they do some crazy stuff. I've seen some of their things, it's it's ridiculously crazy. But FR Sky is really concentrating into our community and thus, I guess, trying their best to give us some of the, some good things. And, and you know, this was announced almost a year ago, I think now, or six months ago, and it's finally here. So, overall, um, it looks interesting, it looks promising, that's all I can really say at the current moment of time until I get it batteries, but yeah, that's going to conclude it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know, and let me know what you guys think of the playlist, what do you guys want to see, what's missing, what do you want to be re-explained in the uh, type of way that I explain things. Uh, let me know what you guys want down in the comment section. And um, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do guys like this content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Just a dollar or two a month will go absolute long way. And uh, you can also use the affiliate links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.